I love the example that Peter sets for us. Peter is willing to learn, to grow. He allowed his own understanding of faith to to truly be broken open. He let go of, of beliefs and traditions that he had long held dear. Peter's tradition had taught him that his faith was supposed to be off limits to Gentiles. And yet, here was God telling him to welcome as clean someone that his tradition had considered unclean. In fact, Peter's encounter with Cornelius so radically transforms Peter's faith that he soon finds himself in trouble with the church authorities back in Jerusalem. And they reprimand him for violating church law. For Peter, participating in God's mission means for him in that moment, letting go of some of the traditions that he had held on to so tightly. And it means taking another look at his own theology and his own boxes that he has created. And it means a willingness to be reprimanded, even criticized by the church authorities for doing things the the wrong way. See, friends, it's not the role of the church to be the mediator of the Holy Spirit to the world. The Holy Spirit is quite capable of moving in the world without us. The church's mission is to figure out what the Holy Spirit is already doing in the world and then to find ways to participate in the work of the Spirit, in the work of widening the circle of grace that includes all people 